What's up guys? It's your boy Juicy Jeff back with another video. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We upload videos every single day. Now in this video guys, I want to talk about the reality of living in your car in Arizona. So first of all, the geography of Arizona is actually pretty uh, different from northern to southern. So in northern Arizona, I didn't know this until I came here, the climate is a little bit cooler and a little bit nicer, um, especially up in Flagstaff. Flagstaff is basically the peak elevation of northern Arizona, and the Grand Canyon is actually just north of that. And even in the Grand Canyon, guys, um, you think of a canyon and you think of like a low elevation, but the Grand Canyon is up there by Flagstaff, super high elevation. Um, and then you got um, south of Flagstaff, you have Sedona, Cottonwood, um, the Verde Valley is what, the, what it's called. And it's a valley before you go over the Prescott National Forest and you drop down into Phoenix. So if you look at the geography of it, you got the whole Sedona, you got the Cottonwood, you got Flagstaff, and it's like one group. And then you have this giant mountain that separates that from Phoenix. And you go over that pass and then Phoenix is on the bottom. Um, and then south of Phoenix, you have Tucson. And Tucson is also um, on the same level of Phoenix when it comes to elevation. Phoenix, they call it the Valley of the Sun. And it's simply because it's a roasting oven down there. I don't hate Phoenix. I think Phoenix is actually really cool. There's a certain vibe about it, guys. Um, you know, I'm really glad that I came and checked out the desert um, because now I know what it's like, you know? People that haven't been to the desert, they just have these visions in their mind. They might watch one of my videos, but until you go here, um, you don't really understand and there's something spiritual about it. You know, the vastness, the openness. There's something about feeling really small and kind of you feel you really get it's beautiful is what it is it's beautiful that's what I'm trying to say so I moved down here in November of last year guys 2020 November I came down the canyon from Flagstaff drove down the beautiful Oak Creek Canyon for the first time and I went down from what I saw was pine trees and Humphreys Peak up in Flagstaff it's one of the biggest pine forests in the world. It's in Arizona, right? You know, you would have never guessed because just north of Arizona, you have Utah. And it's pretty much, you know, it's totally different. So um, I came down here, guys, and I just kind of fell in love, you know. And that's, that's the story of a lot of people with Sedona. My boss, for instance, um, he had the same story. He drove down the Oak Creek Canyon and he stayed here. And, you know, ever since, and he, he loves it. So, yeah, the cool part about Arizona, guys, is you have variety. And I came out here to explore, and that's the whole goal, and I'm glad I explored. And it's definitely worth it to explore Arizona, guys. I haven't been to Tucson, but I've been through Phoenix a few times. I kind of get the gist of Phoenix now. Very sprawled out, very diverse. And it's one of the biggest metropolitan areas in the country, um, I think it's like top five uh, metropolitan areas, maybe top, maybe, maybe top five or 10. It's, it's right there. It's, it's on par with LA when it comes to size and, and um, just diversity. So anyway, guys, living in your car here is actually pretty doable if you are in the right spot. So I'm going to give you guys a little heads up of how to do it. I've stayed here a whole summer, but I got really lucky. Uh, maybe it's luck, maybe it's fate, I don't know what it was, but I managed to stay in Sedona with the monsoon season uh, coming in. So the monsoons come in Sedona pretty much every year around June, July, or August. And monsoons are these wonderful clouds that come over Sedona area and downpour rain, thunderstorms, cloud coverage, blocks the sun, and you get mild weather in the midst of summer. And that's pretty much one of the main reasons how I survived, guys, as well as keeping my full-time job. So in the mornings, I'll go to work, and I'll get off work around 4 or 5 pretty much every day. And I've been doing this for 5 or 6 months now. And so that is probably the main thing. I'm not just stuck in my car all day. 
if you are a nomad or you're you're gonna live in your car in arizona and you think oh i'm just gonna chill in my car all day that's gonna be probably out of the question guys unless you really want to push it because if unless you're in sedona or the verde valley area you could be in Flagstaff and that could work in Flagstaff because it is a lot cooler and it's way more tolerable for the heat. But if you're in Phoenix, guys, like honestly, forget it. Um, trying to live in your car down there, it's absolutely a no-go. I've actually heard stories of people dying and, you know, they'll, you know, they'll just find you because it's, it's just too hot. It doesn't matter how long you run the AC, guys, after a certain point. It's just not healthy to sit in your and sit in the AC all day. So, if you're thinking about living in your car in Arizona, I highly recommend checking out Sedona, the Verde Valley area. That would probably be your best bet or Flagstaff. But once it gets cold, you kind of got to get out of Flagstaff because it gets extremely cold there, guys. There's something about the desert where the highs are really hot and the lows are really cold. There's hardly really a mild in between unless you're in the fall. But I'm, I'm in the fall right now, basically, guys. It's September, what, 12th or 13th? And um, it's hot, man, 95. And I, I'm seeing nothing but sun on the forecast. 95, 90s, you know, and it's going to slowly dip down. But it feels like 100 degrees. Right now, I have my AC off just so I can have better audio with the video right now, guys. But it's freaking hot, man. And if I'm not working in the shade or if I'm not in the shade it's hard to be comfortable and it's also hard to find shade obviously up in flagstaff you have pine trees so there's a lot more shade but here in sedona and in the rest of arizona guys it is pretty hard uh, to live in your car so that's about it um, i would recommend sedona just for the monsoons apparently last year there wasn't really many monsoons it was mostly this year so i got really lucky um, would i spend another summer here Yes, I would. If it was like a season where the monsoons were really light, my opinion might completely change, guys, because there's a breaking point for everybody. And, you know, if it gets too hot, man, it's just it's just too hot. You know, what are you going to do? So, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, what's going on today for me? I went to work. I'm on my lunch right now. Uh, I got some leftover Chipotle, as usual. I got a frappe, as usual. And I'm sipping on water, as usual, guys. This is another key, not only for life, but especially in Arizona, guys. I try to drink a minimum of a gallon of water a day and then some. So I have a coconut water in the fridge at work. So I'm constantly hydrating myself for optimal energy and optimal health. You have to drink water, especially if you're moving around and you're sweating. Yesterday, I went on a hike up to Cathedral Rock, you guys, uh, for the video that's going to be coming out. I don't know when I'm going to drop it, but I have an awesome video coming out for you guys. So I'm really excited about it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. But yeah, these are some of the tips and tricks I've learned about living in your car in Arizona. Um, if you do have a hybrid, I definitely recommend getting a hybrid, guys, because you can chill. And I'll press the power button right now. Here we go. We're going to blast AC. Engine's not even going to turn on. And I'm going to be comfortable in about... 10 to 20 seconds so a hybrid is highly recommended so you're not just burning gas and wasting money basically so all right guys we're gonna wrap up this video here actually i just got some awesome footage i just decided to take a little trip out of my comfort zone once again come out here on the dry creek road which is an epic road where they do jeep tours and stuff like that here you see a jeep tour right there and this is the uh, back of Thunder Mountain. And honestly, guys, in person with the sunset kind of hitting it, it is honestly, it looks like you can't believe your eyes when you see it. It's that, it's that breathtaking. So then back here, we got some more of the uh, Red Rocks and some of the other canyons. So anyway, guys, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. I know I probably already said that, but we're gonna include this in. Hopefully you guys have a great night. Peace out.